40 plus, what about us? Hi everyone and welcome to Fashion House 40. I'm Eve Clark and today it's all about jeans. Now I know you're probably thinking to yourself they have been around for so long, what could she possibly have to say about it? And strictly speaking, you're not wrong. I mean, fashion industry have covered every aspect of the jean. We have the wide leg, we have the bell bottom, we have this boot cut, we have the straight, we have the skinny, we have the drain pipe. We have so many, the list goes on and no doubt I've left loads out. But surprisingly enough, despite the fact of the length of time that the denim has been around and the jean, we still manage to get it wrong. I see lovely outfits being worn and destroyed by an ill-fitting jean. And I think, why? Why? There is no excuse for it. With the wide range and the variety that's available out there today, there is no excuse for getting it wrong. So why do we get it wrong? Well, I think it's because we tend to choose the wrong gene for our body shape. Easily done, funnily enough. Like, for example, if you are somebody with lovely, long, slim legs, but you're a bit heavy on the hip and maybe a little bit thick around the waist, more often than not, this person is going to go for the skinny because they want to show off their legs, and they will. However, it's not the one to go for. And the reason for this is because you have chosen the skinny jean, you have exaggerated the size of the upper body. So you are drawing attention away from your great legs and to the fact that the upper part of your body is a little on the heavy side. So, easily fixed girls. All you have to do is change from a skinny jean to a straight or a slim. And what happens here is you balance out the body. So you're still showing off great legs, but you have balanced the body and so therefore you don't have this exaggerated top. Everything looks brill and your legs look great. So that's the first one. The second one to this will be the flip side of the same coin. Now, this one is usually um, somebody who has, say, a long slim body. Now, if they have a long slim body, they tend to wear a very low slung jean. Totally understandable. They want to show off this long, lean body. And they will. They will if they wear a low slung jean. However, what they also do is they make their legs look really short. It shortens the legs. So, how do we fix it? Easy enough, again. Simply bring the hip band up slightly. It doesn't have to be a lot. So instead of being below the hip, you bring it up onto the hip. And what this does is it shows your lovely long lean body, slipping nicely into the jean, but it also elongates the leg. I've always wanted to use that word. All top stylists use that word and I'm going to use it again. It elongates your leg. So there you go. So they're easily fixed, easily sorted. And um, if you wanted an example of this, the NYJD mid-rise jean is very good. And actually they're very good sizes. There's a very good chance you could go down the size in those. Also, there's a large denim uh, selection in Debenhams, so you'd be spoiled for choice if you wanted to have a look there. And you get all the different um, lengths and sizes and heights and whatnot. And there's some photographs there for you to look at as well in the background. So that's something else for you to think about. Now, the next one I would say would probably be the small waisted person. Now, the obvious one to go for that is a high waist. Yeah, I know, I'm going to upset you. But it may not be for you, and I'll tell you why. If you are big busted, now if you are big busted, what happens is with a very high waisted uh, trouser, or skirt indeed, but a high waist trouser in this case, um, your bust will come down to your waist and therefore you to to totally block out what you want to show off and the look is gone. Very simply rectified, again, you wear a lower slung jean and the reason you do this is you make space between your bust, your waist and your hip and therefore you can see your shape. Now if you are small busted or medium busted you can, of course, wear the high-waisted um, 
G. Now, a nice one here, I'll just show you. Uh, one is of, um, and I'm re wearing the slightly higher uh, uh, waisted, slightly higher hipped one, actually, lower waisted. And you can see it shows off her shape very well. And then I am wearing um, a slightly higher one because I am smaller busted and a different shape to Anna Marie. So it just shows you how you can show off your waist um, and be different sizes. Anna Marie will be tall, I will be small. So it's just showing you the different types. And uh, a very good one actually um, would be the Freddie Jean. They do a nice, uh, a nice trouser um, and also they, it's very good at smoothing out the sides of your hips so you have a nice smooth look and if you're wearing the high um, waist it smooths right up to the waist no lumps no bumps so that's a really very nice one thing to do <sighs> the last one the one that i hate the most that annoys me the most is the infamous love handles Definitely a man had to give them that name because there's nothing to love about a love handle on your trousers or on your body or anywhere else. So what do we do? Very easy to fix, but it must be addressed. Now, what you do is you simply wear a jean that comes up over the problem area. Yeah, I know. You think, oh yeah, duh, that's very obvious. And it is, but how many times have you sat behind somebody who had two large pieces of what looked like fat oozing out the top of their trousers? Now I'm saying fat because that's what it looks like, but actually it's for everybody. I have seen very skinny girls wear very tight, low slung jeans and pushing out the fat over the top of the jean because that's what it looks like if it's pushed up and it has to go somewhere. So please, if you are somebody that has love handles, be you fat, medium or slim, Cover them up and don't ruin your rig out. The answer to this is a mid-rise jean. Um, I'm going to show you a photograph in just now and it'll show you the type of jean that comes up and just smooths over that area. So that's that one sorted. Now, as I say, everything that I have touched on probably has um, been related to somebody out there and so easily fixed and do it girls because it does ruin a perfectly good looking outfit if it doesn't look right an ill-fitting jean is a disaster but they can be really dressed up or really dressed down and they can look fab if they're worn properly now staying with jeans but going in a slightly different direction uh, color so because I'm staying with the traditional jean today, I mean, I know we have yellows, orange, blues, whatever, but I'm with um, the traditional jean today, you can actually break it down into two, dark and light. Heavy bum, big thighs. If I'm talking to you, my dear, you cannot wear the light colors. They will be most unflattering, stay away from them. But the good news is that actually dark denim Black and navy are the colour of the day at the moment and of course that's very flattering for you but it's actually very flattering for us. It is the most flattering colour in the jeans because they elongate the leg. God, I love that word. Anyhow, so that's great and thunder thighs are uh, all on finished when you have the dark colours. It really helps. So, yahoo for all of us. You can't go wrong there. Now, um, along with the dark colours, the flares have come to stay. Now, um, I would say to you, wear flares. They're very nice. Um, they are very flattering. And there is a rule. Stylists will say to you, if you wear something very flared and you are very narrow on top of your narrow shoulder to a very thin person, then bulk out on, you know, a you know, chunky a jumper, a, a big kind of puffy blouse uh, to balance the, uh, the body out and this is a fashion rule and you can obey it by all means. In my opinion, it ain't a biggie. I actually don't think it matters in this particular case. I think you can be as skinny as you like and wear flares and you look brill. So um, that's something that um, I wouldn't worry about. So um, yeah, wear the flares. I just, actually, I'll just show you a pair of flares here that I have. Um, these are actually a Karen Millen. So you see the way they just, they're nice here they flare out of the end and they're just flattering and they're really a very nice jean to wear. So don't, don't be afraid of flares, they're gorgeous. Now, 
Also, you should be a little bit adventurous with your jeans. And when I say that, I'm going to show you a couple of photographs now that will be coming up. Now we have this one here with a star, which I think is really cute. Nothing spectacular about it, but it's a little star on it and it just looks a bit different and I think it's nice. And the next one is um, a belted jean with two silver buttons that stand out, which I think are really, really nice. And I have seen them actually with buttons running down the sides of the pockets. Uh, I don't have a photograph of that, but they're around and they're in a lot of places. So they're another nice thing uh, to look at. And then of course, if you want to go for the festival vibe, you have these gorgeous ones here that I'm showing you with the embroidery on them, which are really, really nice. And then last but not least, the ripped jean. Now this is a lovely pair that I'm showing you here. They're really, really nice. Um, strictly speaking, I would probably say to 40 plus, maybe not to go so quite ripped as that, but I just thought they were gorgeous. Um, but you could go for these, or if you wanted to go for the ones that look ripped, but aren't actually cut right through, which is very nice as well. Um, there's some photographs coming up of those as well, I think. So, uh, so that's a really very nice thing to do. Now the next thing that I'm going to cover quickly I don't want to bore you too much, I just want to get everything covered, is denim on denim. Um, this is where I use my favourite word, tweaking. Oh jeez ladies, put those asses away. I said tweaking. Jeez Louise, what are you like? Anyway, stylists seem to differ on this. Some will say, oh dark on dark, some will say, oh no, light on light, oh no, no, you got to mix it. So what's my take? My take is mix. Now, not so much that putting them together is wrong, because actually I like it. It's more about second time round, which isn't a good look for us. So if you look like, you know, I've been here before and I'm doing it again, don't do that. Okay, keep it sharp, keep it modern. Please do not be tempted to go comfy. Don't go comfy. Comfy is for the television, okay? You're going out in your jeans, you have to look fab. You have to look gorgeous, all right? Actually, do you know what you could do? Ta-da! Aren't they just fabulous? If you wear heels like this, or a little bit lower, but really nice shoes, it turns a denim rig out into a magnificent rig out. So please, ladies, keep that in mind. There's lots of gorgeous shoes out there and they change your rig out completely. Now, um, when I say mix, you can have denim on denim, but you're using different colors. Now, I will show you uh, one thing that I have here, which I quite like, actually. Now, these are similar, but not exactly the same. Sorry, I have my back to you. So I put on this now, it's a coat. This is a um, Select Femme, and you get them in, uh, in Arnott's. Now as you can see, it's very nice, very dressy. You can have the collar up of your dress, and you can have the collar up of your jacket, and you're just showing that there's very slightly different tones. So that's really, really nice, I like that, okay? So that's one thing. And uh, I've got a selection of jackets here actually to show you. Uh, my favorite, if I'm to be honest, is actually to wear, you know, something um, denim over something that is not denim, okay? I'm scaring you a little bit now, aren't I? You're all terrified. Like, what is she doing? Oh my God. Well, there's no need to fear, my friends. Here's what I prepared earlier. Nothing to be frightened about, but I did have you scared there for a sec. You know I did. Now, what you have here is the standard jacket, okay? The one that we know very, very well, all denim, Nothing extraordinary, but just an old favourite. And you can wear this with your dress, your summer dress or your spring dress, and cut it over, and it's really, really nice, and it's trendy, and at the same time. It's a good one, actually, for this time of the year when it's a wee bit cool, but um, at the same time, you might want to wear a lighter dress. Now, when you're coming into, say, June, when you're wearing your summer dress during the day, but it gets cool in the evening, another favourite of mine is the shirt. Now the shirt can be worn, you could, this would be lovely now with dark denim jeans and a white t-shirt underneath and left open. Or as I actually really like this, this is kind of cute because on the back of one of them there, you see a little tear and a bit of colour behind it, just for something a little different. Okay, another way of wearing this which is really nice, pop it on and actually tie it. 
This is great now for if you're going to a barbecue or something and in the evening, especially in June, it'll get a bit cooler but it's been really nice during the day. It's fab. Very dressy, very chic, very nice, but not foolish for us, I feel. So I think that's cool. So outside that then, um, just a quick look just to give you different ideas. We have this sort of uh, military look which is really really nice and you have the cuffs with the buttons on it as well. You have this crop jacket in a completely different colour which is very nice also. Here's one I'm kind of fond of actually because it's mainly because it's just different. Um, this one here is you've got your few little tears in it which is very much in fashion and then of course you have this uh, army or camouflage look which I think is fab. It's just really nice, it's just a change. And then of course, probably more for this time of the year, this is a really nice one. Now actually, um, I've seen this on people when they've been wearing them with, um, actually I did it myself as also, is a fawn trousers and a really crisp fawn um, shirt and then you wear this over. So it changes what I would call a sophisticated rig out into something a little more fun. So this is the fun end of it and then you'd have your more serious rig out underneath. So it's a really nice way to bring in your denim and be on trend, of course, which is the most important thing and uh, also have a little bit of sophistication and glamour attached. Now I know I said second time round is a no-no and it is, but girls, jeans, crisp white shirt and a waistcoat. I know it's second time round, but I still love it and I still think we can carry it off. So you can tell me what you think. All right, so that's more or less it on that end of it. Now, last but not least, colottes, done in every material, but also in denim. They've been around for the last few seasons and are still hanging around and in my opinion, sadly so. I know that they are popular. The reasons escape me. They're meant to be comfortable and I know that they're cool in the summer, but they must be the most unflattering piece of fashion that has ever hit the catwalk. You have gorgeous, tall, slim, lean girls wearing these and then voom, cut off. Why? Cut off her, their gorgeous legs halfway and then because they're tall and slim they look like the two sticks hanging out of the end. I'm sorry, I'm just not a fan. I think you might have guessed. Anyway, then the real sting is that of course it makes your feet look huge. If you are small, well any chance you have of having a long look is cut off instantly with a sudden shortening of the trouser. And if you're small, there's a very good chance they'll make you look fatter. Just saying girls, you don't might like to hear it, but it's the truth. Now if you are a fan, then my advice to you is never, ever, ever wear culottes without a high shoe. Because that way, it will replace the length that was taken away, but also, and kind of more importantly, it will make your foot look smaller. Because at that angle, it shortens the foot. And it is important, they, they do make the feet look big, and you don't want that. You know, everything look, you want is nice and neat and small. So there's no point in ruining that look. So if you are a fan, and you probably may have guessed I am not, at least wear them with a high shoe. I'm dying to do ta-da again with those shoes because I absolutely love them, but we won't go there again. So now, so one thing actually, an unrelated thing, which I might do every so often, purple lipstick is in. Now, when I was about 17, it was also in, and my mother told me that I looked like I had a heart condition. Lovely. Um, I do feel that at my age now, I really probably would look like I have a heart condition and that wouldn't do. But I tell you a way around it. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but I have outlined my lips in a dark purple. And then I have put a paler pink um, or a warm pink on the rest of the lip. It's just one way of being on trend without going the whole hog. Just a thought. Now, so um, there you have it. We're done. 
Any questions, any opinions, anything at all, any remarks, please, please leave them at the end of this page. Now, I'm still having a few problems with my um, software package. Um, ignore the like button for the time being, that has to be sorted. But go further down the page and you will find a spot to leave your remarks and I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, my next fashion vlog will be in two weeks and I'm very excited about this because in this one, with communions and spring summer weddings and garden parties coming up, there's some fab stuff out there and I'm dying to show it to you. So I'm very excited. And what I am doing as well um, is trying to get regards that I feel that you will wear to your um, social occasion. Absolutely love it, but we'll wear it again. Particularly with weddings, I find an awful lot of people get gorgeous um, outfits to wear and then feel, oh, it's too dressy to wear again, or where would I wear it, or I can't wear it the second wedding because I've worn it before. So I have lots of ideas and things that you will absolutely love and will wear over and over again and different ways of mixing and matching. So that's quite exciting for next week. So, or for a fortnight's time, sorry. So see you then, can't wait. Um, if you enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you didn't, it's our little secret. Okay, so for me, Eve Clark and Fashion House 40, cheerio.